up guys? Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. Today, we're focusing on none other than number 74 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players of 2021. Sorry, I've got to check his name. James Bradbury, cornerback for the Giants. And as you can see, we rep the Giants here, down under. We're a fan of the Giants here. Uh, we're also a fan of the uh, the Auburn Tigers, the uh, the North Dakota State Bison, the Buffalo Bills, the uh, Los Angeles Rams, Cowboys, Bengals, Ravens, 49ers, Raiders, Browns, and the list goes on. The list goes on. Guys, before we do continue, I want to thank each and every one of you for, for watching this video, first and foremost, for clicking on it, for giving me your support, and most of all, for all you absolute legends who've decided to spend your hard-earned cash on gifts such as these for me so that now I can put it together and create such an awesome backdrop for these videos thank you thank you so much without you guys without my subscribers this YouTube channel would be nothing now that you guys know just how appreciated you are it's time we get into the video but first a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor Manscaped Sup guys, it's Jacob here thank you first and foremost for clicking on my video secondly this video is proudly brought to you by Manscaped. Now Manscaped do have a complete range of products on their website, but their most recent product and the one that I'm using at the moment is this, the Lawnmower 4.0. So not only is the packaging impressive, but apparently it's a whole new balls game. And here it is now, the latest addition to Manscaped's incredible selection of male grooming products. I've been using the products for a good couple of weeks now. I love them. There's no way I'd be making this video if I didn't. Manscaped use ceramic blades with skin safe technology which means there's absolutely no risk of nicks or cuts. In fact you could probably do it blindfolded. Not only that but you can do it in the shower also. It's completely 100% waterproof and it's even got an LED light. So power or no power you can still get the job done. For those wondering is it a tool just for the downstairs area? No, no it's not. It's actually good for your entire body including your face and for anyone wondering that's the length. But if that's too short for you, there are four different trimmer guard options, which means four different lengths, which means if you really wanted to, you could probably even draw a picture. It looks good, it's waterproof, it's rechargeable with a 90 minute charge, and it's only one of the incredible selection of products on the manscaped.com website. So head over there, check out www.manscaped.com, use code JACOB20, that's J-A-C-B-D-2-0, for 20% off your entire order. Join myself, your other favorite YouTubers, and over two million men worldwide happily using these products. Once again, head down into the description box below, click the link, check out the entire range of products, use my discount code, happy days. Enjoy the video guys, and peace out. Okay, here we go. James Bradbury, cornerback for the Giants. He's gonna hustle to the ball. Throws it right, bat it away, incom He just does everything the right way. He's gonna hustle to the ball. Throws it right, bat it away, incomplete. He's gonna tackle. What a play there by Bradbury. He knows when to press, he knows when to play off, and he's been consistent since he's been in the league. James Bradbury, he makes it for the first time. He's making the list for the first time. That's dope. That's really cool. Like he's been like under the radar for a while now. Giants cornerback James Bradbury is an NFL anomaly. Now, that is the epitome of, of never giving up on a play. Shut down corner, hiding in plain sight. Fastball over the middle, intercepted by Bradbury. After four seasons in Carolina, he made his Giants debut in 2020 and now earns his first ever ranking on the players list. How good is that? How good is that? Four years in the league, working his way up slowly but surely, a brand new team, a brand new environment, new set of fans, and all it's done is raise his level of performance. You know, I guess it can either go one of two ways when when uh, when you go through a massive change like that, and it looks as if he's just going from strength to strength. He's young. He is young, though. He's only been in the league four years. In fact, how old is he? He's just turned 28. So he's not the youngest guy in the league, but he's certainly not the oldest. There's a lot of life left in those legs. Six foot one, 212 pounds. He went pick number 62 in the second round of the 2016 draft to the Panthers as we heard. 4-5 flat for the 40 yard dash. Under seven seconds for the three cone drill, which is very impressive. 36 inches on the vertical, 10 foot four on the broad jump, 16 reps on the bench. Signed with the Panthers on a four year, $3.69 million contract in 2016. He played out that contract 
and as we heard, went to the Giants. On March 26, 2020, he signed a three-year, $45 million contract. So he secured that bag. He secured that second bag, which is all you can hope for. $45 million over three years for the New York Giants cornerback, James Bradbury. He's rich. Since I've been here, he's always like going up against Mike, and they've always had like really good batters. Here we go, third down and two on the slant, broken up. Broken up by Bradbury. Did the quarterback not look at that play? Here we go, third down and two on the slant, broken up. Broken up by Bradbury. Bradbury is making a name for himself. He's the guy who covered every big receiver in the league. He was third in the league with 18 passes defensed in 2020. Bradbury closed on the ball beautifully. Pass deflected and intercepted by the Giants. And led the Giants with three interceptions. Intercepted by Bradbury. And he got both feet in. He has good ball skills. Intercepted by Bradbury. Now those two are clean catches, but the way that he gets his hands in there to break up the passes, he's got to have relatively long arms, right? 33 and 3 eighths of an inch. Now I don't know if that's... Now, I don't know if that's long or short, because I'm used to reading um, reach statistics in the UFC, and I'm pretty sure they must have a guy go up to a wall like this and measure from one fingertip to the other. But they don't do that in the NFL. They must measure from your armpit to the end of your finger. So from here on out, I am going to take some interest in the arm length. And I will say that anything over 34 inches at this stage is going to be considered really, really long. Okay. 34 inches, that is the number in my head as far as arm length. The number as far as hand size goes is 10 inches. Anything over 10 inches, anything over 10 inches for a hand size, um, you're talking Jarvis Landry. And if you don't know how big his hands are, well, I wouldn't blame you because it's not a stat everyone looks up, but it is a stat I'm interested in, especially for these guys who go out there and catch the ball one-handed and make it look easy. I'm thinking, I'm thinking unless Jerry Rice was was right and there is some some sort of glue on that that glove, or the grip is just ridiculously good. Um, your hand must be huge. I like his game, man. Cuts to the 40. Inside the 30. Now comes left and gets hit from behind and tackled. You can't, you can't loosen the hook. Yes, sir. Best in the league. That's the best in the league. You can tell that he studies his craft. So the boundary is typically half man. But you know, they put the... Uh, the formation to the boundary sometimes. Yeah. So is it based off passing strength or is it based off boundary field? Boundary field, this yeah. He's a guy that breaks on routes. He's a guy that you know, breaks up a ton of balls. And he's a guy that picks a lot of footballs too. He's a big corner. He's physical. Brad looked like a damn monster. He looked huge. He's going to be up there in your face. And he's going to mix it up a little bit. Come on, cuz! <laughs> and he's in a bigger market now so more people can see him transition he made to New York and the impact he made was next to none. Lobbing it right, the pass is nearly intercepted by Bradbury. Did he pick it up? Yes, he did! See that again. Was next to none. Lobbing it right, the pass is nearly intercepted by Bradbury. Did he pick it up? Yes, he did! Wow, what a play by Bradbury. The ball was... You gonna show me how that happened? How did that happen? Because in my mind, that's a catch for the Bears. Bradbury ripped it out. And <laughs> On his way down, he's ripped the ball out and claimed it for himself. He landed in bounds. And he's in bounds. What the fuck? That's unbelievable. That's a game of... That's, that, that is football. That's an example of football being the game of inches that we all know it is. But those few inches being on your side, not only uh, the couple of inches that it took to to strip that ball, but the couple of inches that he landed in is what makes that yet another spectacular football play. And guys, that brings us to the end of another video. It's been a pleasure. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you do want to support the channel, please head down into the description box below and check out uh, Manscaped for all of your manscaping needs. And with that being said, it's time I take off. So cheers guys, and have a great day. Peace.